There are new developments tonight with the Indianapolis na native who's held hostage by the terrorist group ISIS, which is now threatening to behead him. Now the man's name is Peter Kasich, a Butler University graduate. The 26-year-old is also a former U.S. Army Ranger who was deployed to Iraq back in 2007. After his service, Kasich decided to help Syrian refugees. His family says he converted to Islam, and that's where he was kidnapped about a year ago. His captors requested that the family release no information about his abduction until today, when the latest ISIS video showed the beheading of a British hostage. Kasich appears at the end when the terrorists threatened that he would be their next victim. We have team coverage tonight on the Hoosier held hostage. Our nightly reporter David McNally has learned about Kasich's passion of treating Syrian refugees and the relief organization he founded. But we're going to begin with the night beats Emily Longnecker who gathered information about Kasich's life growing up here in Indianapolis. Back home from serving in Iraq with the Army Rangers in 2007, Peter Kasich decided studying political science at Butler University was the next route to take. He started there in the spring of 2011. We don't get any do-overs. Kasich, though, would later tell a CNN reporter in Lebanon a year later while doing humanitarian work, something just didn't feel right to him during his time at college. The Indiana native wanted something more, a sense of purpose. I guess I'm just hopeless romantic and I'm an idealist and I believe in hopeless causes. So Kasich trained as an emergency medical technician, telling CNN during that time he was looking for a game changer in life. He found it on spring break from Butler in 2012, doing humanitarian work in the it's Middle tough, East. You know, and like it's sad what's happening to people here. Sometimes you got to take a stand, you know, like you got to draw a line somewhere. Kasich's stand for those suffering the ravages of war and his now life and death situation drew this statement from his former school, Butler University, Friday. Quote, since his time at Butler, Peter has dedicated his life to humanitarian work in the Middle East. The thoughts and prayers of the Butler University community are with Peter and his family. Emily Longnecker reporting. Now, Kasich's parents also released a statement tonight, most of which focused on the British hostage, Alan Henning. It says in part, we ask everyone around the world to pray for the Henning family, for our son, and for the release of all innocent people being held hostage in the Middle East and around the globe. And Henning is the fourth person murdered by this terrorist group. He was a British aid worker, part of a team of volunteers traveling to Syria to deliver food and water to people in need when ISIS captured him in December of 2013. And as we mentioned, Kasich has spent the past few years helping refugees in Syria, a humanitarian effort that put him in one of the most dangerous spots in the entire world. Our Nightview reporter David McNally has a close look tonight at the work that he did there. David? Across from North Central, his alma mater. From here, he went on to the military, then to college, and then to help refugees of Syria. Trained for war, he turned to peace. I got you, I got you. Peter Kasich served in the Army in Iraq. After his honorable health-related discharge, he set his sights on helping. There's this impression, this belief that there is no hope, you know. Um, that's when it's more important than ever that we come in against all odds and try to do something. Kasich, a trained EMT and Army Ranger, was aiding refugees here in a hospital in Lebanon. The wounded Syrian civilians had fled the fighting in their homeland. We just get one life and that's it. You get one shot at this. Kasich aimed high, founding CIRA for Special Emergency Response Assistance. The website shows its work temporarily stopped now because of security problems in Syria. It was time to put up or shut up. The way I saw it, I didn't have a choice. The CNN interview shot in 2012, a year before the Indiana native was taken hostage. We showed the story to Dr. Ahmed Basha, a Syrian-American and supporter of Syrians seeking freedom. But ISIS is, um, they're barbaric, they're repulsive. Uh, the things that they do don't really embody what Islam as a Muslim really says. And on this Muslim holiday, a senseless act, he says. It's a day of, you know, that calls for mercy and forgiveness, and they do something like this. Dr. Basha doesn't know Kasich, but his sister does. She spoke very highly of him and had nothing but great things to say about him. I think he embodies the spirit of Islam as, as a Muslim as well. He embodies that spirit more than the majority of Muslims. And it's, it's honestly, it's heartbreaking to, to see the condition that he's in right now. 
The doctor remembers others who are missing in Syria, including a journalist friend of his, and uh, also thinks of uh, many others, not just uh, Westerners who have gone missing, but also Syrians themselves who are missing in the thousands and many of those massacred as well. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. All right, David, thank you so much. We appreciate that live report tonight. And Governor Mike Pence issued this statement saying our prayers are with Peter Kasich and his family during this unspeakably difficult time. I urge all Hoosiers to keep this compassionate young man and those who know and love him in their thoughts and prayers.